it doesn't sound like this is all together there. It, it sounds like it's broken or it's got some fluff in it, but let's find out. Welcome to DIY with Herman James, and on today's episode, we're doing Alibaba's electric screwdriver versus Harbor Freight's Bauer electric screwdriver. If you're buying tools or buying things inexpensive, you're used to seeing things from Alibaba or you kind of take a risk. Sometimes you're just drunk at night and you buy things from Alibaba or Wish.com. What I've done is not the gotten drunk and bought things, but I purposefully went to buy some inexpensive electric screwdrivers from Alibaba and then I want to compare them to other inexpensive electric screwdrivers from Harbor Freight. If you're like me, I've got a set of tools in here that some are really expensive, some are not so expensive, but I didn't always start with expensive tools. And truthfully, sometimes you don't really want to buy expensive tools. Sometimes you want an inexpensive one. So the ones I picked up here are very particular to being able to get them affordably and quickly. So let's take a look. So what we have here is and Alibaba, I don't read Chinese character brand, as well as the Bauer brand. Now, both of these were about $13. So let's take a look at the Alibaba first. So this one, as I point out, the Alibaba one is a 3.6 volt. Sorry, the glare there. 3.6 volt. So it's not gonna do a whole lot, but electric screwdriver wise, uh, anyone that's an electrician, take off sill plates to put on things like this that aren't going to need lots of torque, this would be great for them. Uh, again, there's not much on here that I can see. There's a LED light that shows right through here, and it comes with a USB charger. Both these are USB charged. I've also seen this exact brand not brand, but this exact model offered for $20, $25, and $30 on different websites, whether it's Amazon or things like that. But let's get into this. And if you listen before I get out here, it doesn't, it doesn't sound like this is all together there. It, it sounds like it's broken or it's got some fluff in it, but... Let's find out. Nope, it, it's all here. Drill or screwdriver. Actually comes with a bit too, which is cool. And the USB charger. Uh, there's just nothing in here to support it for shipping. Now it does come with an actual service manual. Well, that's pretty cool. And it's in English. So it's very, very cool. So I'm just going to not look at it and read it. but. I do like the fact that you can get the 90 degree almost, or you can get the straight on. So that is very cool. Hopefully it came charged, because I just saw I just took out a package and wasn't prepared for this, so. And, uh, yeah, there we go. It has a lock on it, so forward. So you've got drive, reverse, and then neutral. Uh, and the charger, I mean, press here. Yeah, I mean, I like it. It's, you hear the battery kind of jiggling around a little bit, but really, ergonomically, it's pretty well done. I, I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with this. There's no speed control, so it's just a single speed, but I think for just now, I like it, so. We'll get to testing it in just a minute. So let's get the Bauer open. Now we've got the Bauer. Now they look very similar. They're both looking to be able to do the same thing, the two and ones, the 90 degree and the just flat. Now it's showing its exact same things here. Now this one, as you can see, is definitely packaged better. I can only hear this guy going. And I'm assuming this is just the bit like the Alibaba one had and even the charger. So 
I hate these blister pack thingies. I think it's called blister packs. I don't know. And again, this one has a four volt. So the Alibaba is a 3.6. This is four. So a little bit more robust. And again, this was, I think it was uh, $12 at Harbor Freight. And even if they bump this thing up to 20 bucks, you'll get a 20% off coupon and that should bring some of the pricing down. Again, service manual, we're just gonna, we'll figure it out. Again, I hope it came charged because I, I, I didn't do anything with it. This feels about the same weight. I don't feel any heavier or lighter, but this does have this rubberized grip on here, which the Alibaba does not have. The Alibaba's was all plastic. This is nice, so it feels a little bit more comfortable. It seems to do the same, and they've got the same lock at the top where the Alibaba has a button. This has to be swiveled up and swiveled back. I think the Alibaba is actually better than that because it doesn't have the hole down to get there. But I think it's good, and even on the bottom, it's got a flashlight down here. So I don't know what good the flashlight at the bottom is going to do if I'm going to screw. Oh, wait, wait, never mind. It's got that too. So it's got one everywhere. So this actually has an additional flashlight on the bottom. So right now, without testing these, I like the Bauer more than I like the Alibaba. But again, it's preference. Let's see how this is going to work on sheetrock. All right, this is the setup we're going to go with. I use some old sheetrock I had with some old lumber just to build a rig that should be solid enough to test these both out. Now we've got the Bauer here, we've got Alibaba here. Uh, they both have the magnetic tips to keep these in. So I think that's perfectly fine. They've been charged up and we're using nothing but some small screws. I think they're uh, inch and a quarter screws. They're not any special anything, just standard screws. So. Let's just see how these guys are going to go and see how quickly this is going to work. I'm going to use a stopwatch to see how quickly each one can just drive in a screw. Just see if there's any difference for them. I feel most people are going to use screws like this or this type of electric screwdriver to hang things on your wall. So let's find out how well these are going to work. About seven seconds to get everything in there to work. And even still, it's not fully seated. There, this doesn't have enough power to fully seat that. So now, let's check the bower. And the magnetic tips hold a little bit, but not great. And the power, 5.1. Not much difference, and again, also not fully seated. So, these don't have much power to get them all the way in, but they'll do some good work. Let's see about backing some screws out. First up, Alibaba, backing it out. Three point two four seconds, maybe a shave of a fraction of a second for my timing, but it got it out quicker than it went in. So let's try the bear. It 
it says five, but really it was a little bit more than three and a half. So actually, the Bauer got it out slower than the Alibaba did. It just, you can hear. I think the extra few volts does better for a little bit of the torque to get into the sheetrock, but the speed of the Alibaba one, it, it wins for this one. I like the backing out, so this other one for the speed, this got out at about three and a half, almost four seconds, but took a second for the fall. Definitely, definitely like the Alibaba one. Just for fun, let's see if either of these has enough torque built into it, which I'm doubting they do, to put anything into the actual studs. Fresh screw. Alibaba going in. It struggled, but it did it. That is about as flush as it was with the sheetrock. So, let's try the Bauer. Fresh screw, fresh time. Bauer did way better. If you take a look, you'll see the Bauer was actually able, the Bauer was actually able to seat it quite further. That's not bad. Now, yeah, it gave up because it was in all the way, or as far as it can get it, but that's not bad. I wouldn't use this every day for this, for these kind of installations or for this kind of usage but if you need to hang something and get it into a stud you know you can and there's still battery life but can it get it out Alibaba absolutely can I'll suck the bear the bear can too it's a little bit slower. Again, I think the speed of the Alibaba is better than the Bear, but ergonomically, I think this is fine. And yeah, these are surprisingly good. Let's see if I can put one more in and see if the battery's gonna hold. Still battery life. So two in, two good. Still battery life, still good. And I'm not using that much force to hold things down and it's not bucking too much on me. Let's see if we can get it out. In and out. Much faster. Just the speed of this guy. I mean, yeah. So there you have it. I tested out the $13 Alibaba versus the $13 Harbor Freight Bauer brand. And I don't know. It's a toss up. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think is the better of the two of them. It's hard to determine. The Bauer has the torque that kind of gets things in there and I think it's a little bit stronger to use if you're going to anchor things in to the actual 2x4s or the supports. I think that's a nice thing to have for it. But the Alibaba one has got the speed to get in and out. So I, I think the speed might outlast the battery life of the higher torque. It's only 0.4 volts different. What would you want to have in your toolbox? Let me know down below and comment what you want to have in your true box and I might pick you as the one I'm sending one of these electric screwdrivers to. That's right. I'm giving them away. Free shipping. I'm eating the cost of that. If you leave a comment below, let me know which one you would want and why. 
I'm gonna pick a comment at random below and I will be giving you one of these electric screwdrivers. Convince me why I shouldn't keep either and I'll give them both away. If you like this video and videos like this, please consider subscribing to this channel. Leave a comment below, let me know what other items or tools or products you want me to review as well. DIY within your garage, house, apartment, condo, vehicles, something that would be beneficial to you. Let me know, comment below. And lastly, I wanna thank you for tuning in and I can't wait to be in your eyes and ears next time.